Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and today I'm going to demonstrate the Air Video app for the iPad. Now this app is also available for the iPod Touch and the iPhone. And basically the Air Video app allows you to stream video files from your computer to your iPad. So not only does it free up some of the storage space on your iPad, but it also converts video files that don't normally play on the iPad. So for instance, if you have an MKV file or AVI file that can't play or sync to the iPad through iTunes, all you have to do is use the Air Video app and it will convert it live. Essentially, the Air Video app is working with a server that's running on either your Mac or your PC. And on that server, you can designate exactly which files or folders you want shared with your iPad. So let's go ahead and launch Air Video. Now Air Video does work on your local Wi-Fi network or it does work over the internet so it will work with 3G. Now there are some challenges to getting it to work over the internet. You will need a router that supports UPnP and NAT PMP. Unfortunately I haven't had any success getting it to work so I'm just using my local Wi-Fi to demonstrate. So the first thing I'll need to do is add a server and since I'm using my local Wi-Fi and I have the server running on my iMac right now all I should have to do is go to this plus sign I see my iMac listed, select, okay I see my computer added, if I select that I'll see the three folders I've added. Now you have the option to share folders or to share playlists. So in this case I have podcast which is a playlist, movies which is a folder, and mic one which happens to be my home folder for the iMac. So let's go to movies. Let's go to flip share data, that's where all my videos are kept. Let's just grab the first one, 3G Tethering Speed Test. Okay, now I see I have a preview of my video in the right side, and I get some information. I can see the resolution is 1280 by 720, the duration is 8 minutes and 52 seconds, and the file size is 576 megabytes. On the bottom I see several options. I can play directly, convert, add to iTunes. Basically this allows me to add this video file to my iTunes folder on my computer or I can play with live conversions. Now play appears because the video file is actually compatible with my iPad. All I have to do is hit play and the video will play automatically. So let's do that. My iPad is connected to a 3G network via an iPhone 3 Okay, so it's playing directly from my computer right now. I can stop it. Let me go back to play and I can show you that I can actually scrub it as well. Now I'm able to do that. So if I can scrub it to a later scene. On the tether your iPad and uh... All right. So as you can see when I, these are the raw videos, these are the videos before you actually see them. So they're not very polished. But anyway, you get the idea is that you can scrub live uh, through the Wi-Fi network. Now since this plays directly from my computer, I don't have to use any of these other options. Let's go to a video file where I will not be given the option to play right away. I happen to have Memento right here. So if I select Memento, I no longer have an option to play. I just have play with live conversion or convert. The reason that is is because the video file is an AVI file that doesn't normally play on the iPad. I can play with live conversion. Essentially the server right now is converting the video live and playing it back. Of course that works pretty well. So let's stop. But if I want to watch this at a later time or if my computer is slower and live conversion doesn't work very well, all I have to do is hit convert. I see this pop-up that says video was successfully added to conversion queue. So let's go to continue and see what the conversion queue is. Up here I see queue. So if I hit queue I see that Memento is ripping right now, so it's going to take about 6 minutes and 6 seconds to convert. So once it's converted, it will play directly from that file. Now if I were to go to podcast, I will see that these will play automatically as well because, the, because they are coming from iTunes and they are playable on the iPad. All I have to do is hit play. I can also go to global settings to modify how I want these video files converted. So I have some other options here. I can change the maximum width and the maximum height or the quality of the conversion. So once again, that's the Air Video app for the iPad. Thanks for watching.